Hi there, check it, Ozan, and welcome to part number six of my little engineer. My let's play a world of Warcraft where I do some engineering. And I got all the way to Ironforge, as you might be able to see. And what happens when I talk to this dude to buy up my engineering? Requires level 10, and I'm not a tall one. He just said, if you couldn't hear it, hi there, you're a tall one. And I'm just his height. Alright, uh, so I need level 10, and look at my experience. I'm so close to level 10, and I went all the way to Iron Forge just for nothing. So, again, it's been a long time since I played. Um, a very long time since I played and um, I uh, fortunately I looked back at my old video and my episode number five I uh, looked back at it and I heard myself say at the end of that video that I promised to start with some engineering in this video um, unfortunately what you just saw that you have to be level 10 to buy it up it's gonna make that a little bit hard, but I can make a couple of things, I guess. If I, got, I think I got, I got three wooden stock. So if I manage to make a handful of copper bolts, which I pr ah, I can probably make one boomstick to get it up to 80. We'll see. Uh, and then I'm think I'm gonna have to continue the questing. Uh, so I get level 10 and then I can buy up my engineering and of course you can only do that here in Ironforge uh, so let's smelt this copper I have here and I will have how many bars I have seven copper bars and you need three of these to make one um, here we go to make a boomstick and I need, whoa that was lucky look at that uh, I needed four copper bars and three of those and that's exactly what I have to make one alright so I make one of these boomsticks and that's about all the engineering I could do right now unfortunately um, no I don't want a blacksmith trainer I just wanna alright here we just wanna sell the damn boomstick alright so um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and see if there are any bags for me to buy uh, and because I need a lot more room here of course and um, then I'm gonna go back and continue the questing and uh, I will see you there uh, so um, um, until then uh, which I guess is two seconds for you uh, see ya and there we go I'm back and as you can see I have bought myself some bags well I have 27 silver so million didn't buy any bags uh, but fortunately I have uh, a couple of level 90 characters on this uh, server so they were kind enough to buy me two frost weave bags and two nether weave bags so now I probably won't need to buy a bag again with this character like ever <laughs> so that's awesome and uh, I'm here at the cold bolar quarry to do some questing and hopefully become level 10 so I can buy up my engineering and also hopefully get some copper and uh, because I'm gonna need copper if it's gonna be any point of buying up my engineering and then very soon I'm gonna need uh, uh, <laughs> uh, very soon I'm gonna need uh, some um, tin and uh, well I guess that tin uh, doesn't really uh, exist here in Dunmoro so I'm gonna have to wait until I get to uh, lock mode on before I can continue once you need that tin alright so there is copper over there I think I better go get it 
Oh no 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 no! I got three on me. Man, what a crappy start. And I have to get some better equipment, especially a better sword, man. This sword really, really sucks now, and I really need to get something better, because, I mean, I should be killing these easily. This shouldn't really be any hard at all, and uh, it is, so I'm going to have to get myself some better equipment. I hope I get some from these, so well, I get some braces there, it looked like. Uh, let's see what else I will get. I will get nothing there. Man, this is crap, man. I don't know what's up. I, this hasn't happened to me in a very long time. And of course it happens when I do my first Let's Play here. No. No weapon. Alright. The copper. It's over here, so let's go get it. Alright, no worries. I'm just gonna have to kill them one by one. Uh, that's uh, not gonna be easy. You see, they are very close to each other. And they really, really wanna kill me. I don't understand. What have I done to them? I'm just gonna steal their copper and kill them and stuff. I mean, that's not so bad, is it? Luckily, I am rested, of course, so I'm leveling pretty quick here, and hopefully, hello dude, hopefully I will um, be level 10 very soon, and I can choose a spec, and I get some new skills, and um, then maybe it will be a little bit easier, let's hope so, and let's hope I don't have to kill like 400 of them just to get to that copper over there. Because I think the miners are just... Are they? Is that a trap miner? No? Yeah? What? I don't know. Yeah, there is something there, definitely. Uh, but I think you're going to have to go into the cave here eventually, aren't you? I'm not so sure. I haven't really done... As I've said a million times... What? Where's the cover? Oh, there it is. I haven't really played in Dunmoro since they redid it all. I've played it a million times in the past. But everything is different now. Okay, it's the it's the frozen artifacts that I see right here. So I guess the miners are in the mine, which would make perfect sense. Uh, okay, he's dead. Uh, if I throw to him, does he run down or does he run all the way around and bring a lot of friends? That's what's going to happen here, isn't it? He's going to bring a lot of friends. No, he only brought himself, but that's probably going to be enough for me to want to go. Man! This really sucks. And it really, you know, <laughs> this is incredible. I mean, they made this game so easy. This is so incredibly embarrassing. And this is not normally the case, if I can say so. Uh, Alright. Let's try this again. And let's try... Can I... It's freaking impossible. Look at that. They're standing so close to each other. If All right. Fuck it. I'm going into the mine. Fuck them. They can go and uh, lick on their ass or whatever they do. These trogs. Thank you very much. And... Can I please kill you now, Mr. Trog? It's very close to level 10. I just want to get there and see what happens when you get there. Maybe this will be easier. If they were to drop a sword, I wouldn't, you know, cry about it. <laughs> Maybe I should use my... Whoa! They are spawning here all over the place. No, 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 no. It's really weird, because the hardest part... The hardest part of this game is the first area you play in. That's the hardest part. Then it gets, e it almost gets easier and easier for every you know area you come to, because you get better gear and they, they don't, they are like the same compared to you, but you have a lot better gear, so it gets easier and easier. And that's that's just wrong. It shouldn't be that way. 
it should be there. It's easier now in the beginning. Hey, I can pick a class specialization. Yes, I really want to do that. And I want to be a Fury Warrior, as I've said before. And what do I get? Do I get Blood Thrust right away? Yeah, and a great crazed Berserker I get as well. Awesome. Boom. No, I didn't get crazed Berserker. Is that a passive? Right. Increases auto attack damage by 10%. That's pretty nice. And Bloodthirst, what does it do? Instantly attack the target, dealing 108 weapon damage plus 33. Oh, awesome. I think I'm going to do it like that. Or maybe I'll even put that one there. Let's do it like that. And, and, let's use that knife. And there is a cooldown there, right? Yeah. That's why I usually put it there and don't uh, use it, you know, on my number two slot because it has the cooldown. And was that easier? I think so. Definitely think so. Now I just need some better gear as well. Look at this, I'm killing him fast. I guess you should be level 10 when you get here. Oh, there I see some copper. I see some copper. That is great, that's what we need. Is it up? No, it can't be. it's behind here, get no. There it is. I see it. Alright, so the trap miners, they are in the cave, right? Yes they are, it seems like. And I need what I need uh, five more um, crystals. Which is uh, doable I guess. Especially since I'm level 10. Now I can go up and try to kill Vagash again. I think I will make it now. Especially, you know, since I get better gear here as well soon. And I see a miner. And he's major. Uh, no. He's minor. He's just a little mine, mining dwarf. He's so minor. <laughs> I'm sorry about that one. Alright, here we go. Rock jaw, bone snapper dead. And I need this crystal. I really do. This frozen artifact. It's it's not a crystal. It looks like a crystal. <laughs> he's standing there, really, really scared inside a mine, and he says, Can I interest you in a pint? So he has a pint in his back pocket and he wants to serve you? I mean that's just ridiculous. I understand that that's you know like a regular answer. For uh, um, for a dwarf, any dwarf, they have these regular things they say when you tap them. But but it shouldn't be. I mean, when you're in a place like this, they should have a special one. Uh, oh, please save me or whatever. Oh, can you get me out of here? Oh, you know. What's on your mind? What the hell do you think? I'm here to rescue you. How are ya? How are ya? I'm so great sitting over here, scared to my bones. Oh, I forget to use these. I'm an engineer, so I guess I have to use them. It probably is worse for me using them than not using them, but... I have to use my engineering skills, don't I? How many? Four more miners, one more frozen artifact. Uh, let's kill this one. Wow, it really feels great being level 10 here and uh, getting my um, getting these skills that makes it so much easier. This bloodthirst is an awesome skill. Warriors really have, as I was referring to in a couple of episodes in episode four, I think. Warriors really have some great skills that make it really fun to play warrior, I think. But that's just my opinion. You got my attention. Uh, you know, like uh, execute, like uh, victory rush, bloodthirst. I really, yeah. I think it really makes it fun to play warrior now. and easy. It's so much easier than it was in the past. I mean, in the past you actually, you know, <laughs> you couldn't heal yourself with anything like you can with victory rush now. Uh, back in the past. So it really is easier now. And here's some copper. Awesome. And I don't need any more crystals. 
I do need one more of these and he is right there and then I can get out of here and maybe I have to get in again I'm not sure but I can get out of here for now anyway I don't think there are any more quests in there but I am as I said I have not played this Dunmoro the new Dunmoro very much so I have really no idea okay and uh, here's some more copper look at this this is awesome yes and even more over there look at that or is it up there oh don't tell me it's up there that would be a little bit sad it's so great to be able to get fury by using you know bloodthirst and you get the uh, your um... yeah it's up there ah what the oh they were neutral man four of them Oh, here's a skull thumper. Let me thump your skull, Mr. Skull Thumper. Here we go. I am definitely going up and killing Vagash. And he's gonna get. Whoa! Look at that! A two handed sword. Finally, 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 I can uh, upgrade here. Even though it certainly <laughs> does not look as cool at all as uh, my last sword, my last uh, uh, lightsaber. Uh, so I guess we're leaving Star Wars and we are playing uh, simply World of Warcraft now. And I have a better sword, I'm level 10 and I'm feeling so much better than when I s went down and killed these first trucks here I must say. Awesome! And I can also, of course, level up my engineering now and become... What's it, what's it called the next one after the start? Is it journeyman? I think it's journeyman, right? I can become a journeyman engineer. Yes. Alright, Mr. Stonehallow. You can give me some great mail uh, stuff. And I got new a new waist. That's of course better than the one I have. And let's see, Mr. Stone Bro. Stone Bro? See you soon. Bro. Nothing from him? Alright. And let's see over here. This is Mr. Drugan. Prospector Drugan. What do you have for me? Great it's great to meet you as well. And he has wrist for me. And a bag that I don't need. See well, I can put it in the bank. And maybe I will need it in the bank. But if I'm gonna. Use extra bag slots in the bank, I'll probably buy better bags. Borum's post, where is that? That's over there, okay. First, I am gonna kill Vagash! Yay! And... I might... I might just become... Look at that, I'm gonna kill some uh, creatures on the way here. If I find any. So I will be level 11 once I'm done with, with Vagash. That will be awesome. I'll be level 11 and I will um, end this episode by doing some engineering. Uh, and, uh, and then I can continue in the next one. So here we go. Mine, mine, mine. Yes, lovely. And let's kill some bears. Level 7. Bass. Am I still rested? I am still rested. That is awesome. Alright. How much do I need? I need a thousand and I got 700 I think from that one. 770. So, of course I get some from killing Vagash. Uh, yeah. That's enough. That will most likely be enough for me to be level 11 once I have killed him and returned that quest. So, awesome! Uh, I thought of skipping <laughs> skipping the video until I'm at Vagash, but he's right up there, so no point in doing that. Well, if you are watching this, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you so much and uh, don't be afraid to leave a like and um, you know oh he's out here he was in the cave before I guess you want to take a look over his land 
and see the land that will kill him. Because I am a gnome, so I am a gnome of Dunmoro. So this is Dunmoro killing you. The whole of Dunmoro cheers me on. Which is awesome, and he is. is. dead! Yes, Fang of Vagash. Fuck you, and I hope I never see you ever again. Because then I will kill you again. And I will level up. Yay! Welcome, and I get a great chess piece. Thank you! You keep your feet on the ground, Mr. Rudra. Rudra. Rudra Amber still. Okay. So what's this quest now? Don't tell me it's go to the quarry. Speak to <laughs> It is go to the quarry. Oh my god. I was supposed to kill Vagash, then go to the quarry, but because I was only level nine I went to the quarry first. So that's what you get, I guess. Um I'm gonna go to the quarry, return that quest, and then I'm gonna fly to Ironforge, and I will see you back in Ironforge. So, see ya in a couple of seconds in Ironforge. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye, see ya, see ya, see you in two seconds. Bye. And I'm back in Ironforge, in Tinkertown. Uh, with my lovely gnome friends and a great engineering trainer right over here. Uh, so, let's finally buy journeyman engineering. Yes! 85 is the next level in engineering. And um, so, we're gonna have to do some engineering to get it up. First, I wanna smelt the copper. You can't. Can, can you do it here? Can you? This is gonna be embarrassing. Yeah, I knew it. Requires a forge, of course. Uh, here is a forge, isn't there? Yes, there is. So I can do it right here. But there is no anvil here. And I am pretty sure I'm gonna need an anvil. So that's a little bit sad. I can also buy up my mining. Uh, and that's really good because uh, if you forget that and you get to 75 and then you keep mining, it's so annoying that you're stuck there. Uh, it really really is. Uh, why did I do that? I wasn't done mining. And that's really bad I think. You, you can't check your engineering while you are smelting. Why can't you do that in this game? It's so stupid. Alright, so here we go. Um, I can do that and boomsticks of course. I wanna make some uh, copper bolts so I can make a couple of boomsticks. Requires anvil and blacksmith hammer. Um, I guess we are going to, because there is no anvil over here, right? Right? No, there's not. So I guess we're going to, to the Great Forge again. There is definitely an anvil there. Um, so at least we got some engineering done in this episode, uh, which I'm glad since I promised that in the last episode. You shouldn't really promise anything, should you? And then you might even forget that you did, so... Uh... <laughs> uh... One thing they have not changed much since the uh, start of World of Warcraft is of course Ironforge. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. I guess the graphics have been, had been upgraded, but... Apart from that, it looks pretty much the same like it did in 2004, doesn't it? And that's awesome. I really like that. I really like that. I'm a, a, a fan of uh, the old time World of Warcraft, I have to say. So, let, enough babbling, and what do I need here? I need six handful of copper bolts. I need six hands full. But that shouldn't really be the same for a gnome as it is for a, uh, you know... Dronay or whatever, they should have much bigger hands, so a handful of couple balls should be much more for them. Don't you think? Alright, I can make these too. And get my engineering up. And of course, now I have no idea what I will I will need. I do know that you will definitely need an art like spanner 
uh, you know, at some point. But I'm really interested to see what you could do at level 85. I should have checked that when I was there, of course. Uh, but I didn't. So I, I'm going to have to go back, and I would go back anyway to buy it. Uh, so soon, it's going to be a lot of uh, questing I have to do. And uh, I guess I'm off to Dunmoro. Uh, I mean, sorry, I'm off to Loch Modan, where I can continue... Uh, to get my levels up uh, and get some tin. The timing is uh, usually pretty uh, great. Uh, okay, here we go. Target dummy. Silver contact I can do at level 90. That requires silver, of course. Uh, the target dummy requires two bronze bars and wool and an arc light spanner. So, what I will do is create that arc light spanner which uh, required six copper bars and it uh, probably it's yellow so it probably will get me to 89 and is there anything I can't do anything with one copper uh, to get me to 90 but it doesn't matter I will make that arc light spanner and then um, I am ready to do some more stuff once I have the tin of course, to get bronze, you need tin, and you combine the tin and the copper, and it becomes bronze. But you already knew that. So, here, arc like spanner, and I did get to 89. And I will keep that one very, say, oh, it turned out right there, which is perfect. Uh, those cleavers can be there, and that one don't have to be there. That one I will put in the bank. And... That one I will sell, that one I will sell, that one I will sell. You can put those there. There we go! Uh, so, this is where I end this episode, and thank you very much for watching, and uh, please leave a like, and you are free to comment too, and if you're not subscribing to my channel, you can do that as well. Thank you very much again, and I will see you in episode number 7. Alright, goodbye!